Carmen Small. She's been an impressive rider this year. She certainly has. She won the Touring uh, Ring for one of the stages there. She was a Nordic skier before she turned her attention to being a cyclist. <laughs> Here's the American now, Evie Stevens, the silver medalist last year, sixth in 2010. So here is the rider from New Zealand, the most consistent rider in world championship time trialing from New Zealand, silver medalist and three bronze medals. This is Linda Willemsen as she's already into the aero tuck. This is Carmen Small. This is a good performance. She is out on the course and is starting to motor. The time to beat at this split. Look at that. Carmen Small goes quickest. 16 minutes, 3.93 for the American. And Rochelle, you said this uh, rider could produce a time trial today. And she's rocking and rolling now. She's gone fastest. Well, I think that she's thinking in her mind this is the year if she's going to reach the podium at a world championship two years ago we would never have thought Carmen Small would be on the podium but this year she's had so many impressive rides and she's lifted to the level of her specialized Lululemon team so um, she's put herself on the board as one of the favorites today well it's fantastic to see Evie Stevens Eve even with uh, Langvad at the moment Willemsen and Van Dyke Ellen Van Dyke then, we get the chance to look at her for the first time. She's such a powerful bike rider. She's got that slightly lower frontal area that she's managed to do. She's got risers though on the aero bars, but she manages to tuck herself right in to create a nice uh, cut through into the wind. Linda Willemsen is looking quick. She's really kicking on as she heads towards this intermediate time split. She's the first rider under 16 minutes, and Willemsen in the all-black colours of New Zealand is setting a sizzling pace out on this course. The Dutch rider now heading towards this time split and uh, she is certainly motoring 20 seconds faster than Linda Willemsen in second place. 15 minutes, 39.25 for the Dutch rider. An average speed, the only rider over 47 kilometers an hour. Here we go at the finish line. This is Carmen Small, who has been one of the fastest riders out on the course so far today. Carmen Small now setting a, a fast pace. Is she going to be the fastest rider at the finish line? It's going to be very, very close, but she's almost there now. Trixie Warwick, 28-19, 8-4. Small beats her, and it is by 2.92 seconds. Carmen Small goes into the hot seat as the leader of this World Championship individual time trial, Carmen and Small. that is a Just very, very good performance from the American rider. Great performance from her. I think no matter where she finishes now, she's going to be quite content with that ride and also with the season. She's a, she's a lovely, lovely um, person, and this is the first year that she's raced full-time in Europe. Um, with a European professional team or with specialised Lululemon. And she says, actually, if she wasn't a cyclist, she'd be in a circus because she loves travelling, she loves packing and unpacking that bag. So <laughs> that's worked well for her this year. Does she really? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're all used to going home, throwing some clothes out, putting some more back in and getting back to another hotel, aren't we? <laughs> that's the circuit. Here we are with Ellen van Dijk heading through now the more technical section. It'll be interesting to see at the 16.4 kilometre point, is she going to be the fastest rider? Willemsen is getting close to uh, the time of Carmen Small now out on this course. So this is Evie Stevens. She's second fastest now at 16.4 kilometres. The fastest rider is Carmen Small, 21.23.25. Evie Stevens, 21.25.02. As Willemsen goes uh, round that left-hander and went right to the limit through there. She knows she needs to find something. The question is, can she find anything to come back at Van Dijk before the finish? Uh, it's going to take an awful lot of effort to go anywhere close to Van Dijk.
Right, this is the 16.4 kilometre point, and Alan van Dijk is setting a blistering pace. This is a gold medal ride if she doesn't make any mistakes. 20 minutes, 54.57. She's the first rider under 21 minutes. Her average speed is 47 kilometres an hour, and this is very, very impressive, not just at women's world level, but at men's world level. This is fast. Here is Evelyn Stevens now. Is she going to be a medalist today? 28 minutes, 16.92 is a time to beat. She knows she has to sprint all the way to the finish line. Evelyn Stevens is going to be all. Oh, she is second to Carmen Small. 28, 16.96. Rochelle, point zero four of a second outside Carmen Small. How can it be that close after 22 kilometres? It's unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, that's the, imagine what will go through their minds when they go bed, to bed tonight, where they got that. Oh, you have to feel, It's like at the weekend in the men's team time trial, point eight one of a second. And Brett Lancaster, I spoke to him at the finish and you couldn't really speak to him. He just didn't know what to say. Look at the face on Carmen Small. Well, they come from the same team and they've won a world championship together this week so she would have been happy either way I think but obviously uh, knowing that she's just finished that one position ahead but by that close oh, oh. <laughs> Linda Willemsen now she took that corner absolutely perfect her shoulder was almost on the barriers she goes to the left hand side of the road she's trying to find any little bit of speed she can so right now at the finish line 43 riders have finished. Carmen Small is the leader. 28 minutes, 16.92. An incredible second place. 28, 16.96. As Linda Willemsen sets herself up for the finish line. She's out the saddle. She sprints. She gets back onto the skis yet again. She's going now to try and put herself into silver medal position. Here goes Linda Willemsen of New Zealand as she accelerates and goes to the left-hand side of the road. The right-hand side as we look at it. This is a really good time. What a performance from Linda Willemsen. She's gritting her teeth now, heading towards the finish line. She's inside the last 200 metres, 27.58. She's going to be just outside 28 minutes. Now she's got to beat the time of Carmen Small. She kicks it on a little bit more. Linda Willemsen hits the finish line any minute now, 28 minutes, 12.28. Well, it's definitely the silver medal. And the question is whether Van Dyke is going to blow everyone else out of the water with her performance. She so far is the quickest, but Linda Willemsen still fast. And the time for Willemsen, 28, 12.28, and a blistering 46.375 kilometers an hour. That's an amazing consistency from Linda. She's always on the podium at the World Championships, but like we said earlier, there seems to always be somebody better. But she couldn't have done better today. She gave it her 100%, her and um, as all did her sponsor she had the new bike from Colnago and Campagnolo with the electronic and as you can see she's given it everything and that was her best ride and uh, she's securely got the silver medal so it's not bad what's she gonna say tonight though she's gonna be again she's a rider who's always there and you can't take away so many silver and bronze medals can you she's a great athlete Right, let's now see Alan van Dijk, who is out of the saddle in a massive gear into the finishing straight. She is powering away towards the finish line. Alan van Dijk, the Dutch rider who has set the fastest times out on the course compared to everybody else. She is sitting there pushing the biggest gear on her bike. This is going to be the gold medal ride. This is going to be the world champion. She is going to be, by the looks of things, the only rider inside 20 eight minutes Ellen van Dijk racing to the finish line now in the orange of the Netherlands the Dutch are gonna go absolutely wild there'll be a party in Florence tonight 27 minutes 48.18 and she smashes the time of everyone else by 24.1 seconds and her average speed is 47 kilometers an hour well, it's always great to see the favourite win and ha have a good day. She deserves that win today. She was absolutely the best bike rider coming into the World Championships and uh, to pull that off and uh, be the race favourite and get that second World Championship in a few days. You can see how emotionally happy she is. Well, she's sitting down to try and recover, but what a great performance from Ellen van Dyke.